Johnny Mo come to you today with a big reveal and boom there she is it is a Toro 5000 Z Master series um, love the mower um, just gonna walk around there is roughly 20 some hours on it I got it on Monday and this is the Turo, Turbo Force deck which is my favorite cutting platform uh, in dry grass, this this deck is is absolutely phenomenal. In wet grass, and when I mean wet grass, I mean fertilized wet grass. The ICD deck does do better. This one will throw more clumps than the ICD deck will. Um, in dry grass, absolutely phenomenal. It can cut wet grass. It cuts better than the um, ultra cut in wet grass, but it does not cut as good as that does in wet grass. But Overall, this deck in dry grass, even slightly wet grass, it is just phenomenal. It, it cuts, it cuts beautiful. It throws it further. It, it just does a great job. This is my favorite deck out of all the decks that that I've used. The Turbo Force deck. I also like the Ultra Cut, but when it comes to wet grass, the Ultra Cut loves to throw clumps. Where this this will throw less clumps, but if it's really wet and it's high and fertilized, this deck does make a mess. Whereas that deck actually does better in the wet grass. That's the ICD back there. Uh, favorite part about this, second favorite part about this is the comfort. This is a Toro, uh, Toro seat. It's a suspension seat, but it has these rubber isolate mounts and there's four of them. And what happens is when you're on the mower, this seat moves left to right, back to front. So you are not getting blasted with all the bumps. So those rubber mounts really work really, really well. Um, very impressed with it. The Ferris still has a better ride, but man, is this a close second. I like the Cheetah ride too. Cheetah by Skag is a really good ride, but this is a phenomenal ride. I really like this, this seat. I'm very comfortable. I mowed 10 and a half hours the other day, all day, and I still had enough energy at the end of the day. If I had any other mower besides this one, I would have taken the Ferris out because that's a long day to be sitting on a mower and, and you just get beat up. Um, I, I, the mower the mower is just a phenomenal mower. Walk around. If you have any questions, put them in the, in the comment section. But here is, it's a 25 EFI. And the reason why I got this mower, I got rid of the Snapper Pro, I sold it, is because of that trailer. Um, it's obvious that I can't run carbureted engines as long as I have that trailer. Uh, what was happening is when I would roll up into the trailer, it would vapor lock and it would push fuel into the cylinder. And then when I'd go to start at the next stop, because it was so hot, it would actually, it would actually not run right. So what was happening is the cylinders were filled with gas. And until that burn out of there, it wouldn't run right. It would go, it would just like, like it didn't have power. Well, after a couple times doing that, well, obviously fuel gets in the oil and then the, you pull the oil stick and you, your oil smells like fuel. And I, I just, I put 750 bucks in it last year with a new carburetor and some other try, fixes, try to fix it, but it just won't fix. It, it's something about that Vanguard. I, I just... I don't know what it is. Um, so it's done. It's gone. It is sold. I picked this up. This this mower was $9,999. It retailed at $12. Um, I got a really good deal on it. So it's a mid-mount. It's a mid-mount zero turn. So it's still under that price range. Um, right now, the grass that I'm cutting, it's cutting unbelievable. I mean, it, the mower is just cutting unbelievable. And I was using the Ferris quite a bit, and stuff that I was double cutting with the Ferris, I'm only single cutting with this. It's just a phenomenal mower. I really like the speed of it. I think the Ferris is just a tad bit faster than this mower, but this is speedy. Uh, I'm a, I like Toro, and, and now that they've had this new comfort design, it, it really is, is, a, is a really good mower for me. But other than that, everything, uh, I've, I've enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, I have... I think I have 28 hours on it as we stand. Let's just pop it and see what it is. It's in 20s. I know I'm in the 20s. Maybe I'm not in the 20s. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what it is. It's a smart meter. I don't like it. I'm at 25.8 hours. Okay. 
So I'm at 25.8 hours. I do not like the smart meter, by the way. This is something, I just don't like it. I don't like the gas gauge, it's not accurate. Um, just not a fan of that. Some other things I'm not a fan of is, is I keep it real, you know. I don't like this locking mechanism. I like the Ferris's automatic lock. I don't like this at all. You have to pull this up and engage it to lock it when it comes up. Uh, I'm sure there's a reason why they did that, but I don't know that reason yet. Uh, obviously, I made my own uh, shoot, shoot blocker. You know, uh, works very well. I, I put a little hook here to keep it, and then when I shut it, I just lean down, and then I put it there, and I put a spring on it. It came with it. It came with the, the flap, because I used the flapper, the, the original flap to make this. And so it stays down pretty good. So I use that. That came on. And uh, so that's all I do. Uh, I'm not spending $300 on a flapper or 250 and, you know, all that. This works very good. Very good system. Love it. And um, works very well for me. Have any questions? I always make the flappers out of the the hardware that they give you. So I just basically go, go buy metal. I take the rubber piece off that came with this and I just bolt that metal in there and I just measure it and do that. I mean, that's how I did it. That's how I did it with that from over there. It's over here. Uh, this flapper, I think it cost me $15. Same thing, same setup. Uh, works very well. Had to bend this piece of metal because the deck cuts out that way. So if you're asking me which mower do I like better, I mean, I know that's coming. This definitely has more horsepower. This is the 28 EFI. This, the Toro deck uh, cuts better than the ICD deck in dry grass. If it's high dry grass, um, the Toro, it's, it's, it's really not that close actually. The Toro Turbo Force does a phenomenal job. Uh, the ICD deck does a good job. Where the ICD deck really shines is in wet grass. And that's a really good deck for wet grass. I have no issues with the deck. have no issues with this machine. It's still more comfortable. Um, it's still a great machine. But since I got rid of the Snapper Pro, this is my main machine. As you know, I'm not bagging. There's no bagging equipment here. Um, this on heels is like a billy goat. This on heels is like ice skates. So what I did is I took where the bagging kit was, I took the weight kit from the bagging kit and I put the weights in the back there. So now I got a little bit more weight back there. It does sufficient on heels, but I don't feel comfortable with it. Uh, this here, I feel absolutely comfortable. I mean, it, it goes around heels, up and down, around sideways. You can turn on a heel. I don't know why. Maybe the gas tank being in the middle has something to do with it. But, you know, the one thing I will say is what I'm not used to is on a fixed frame. That's a fixed frame. This is not a fixed frame. This deck hovers to the ground better. It cuts, it leaves a cleaner cut because, you know, on a fixed frame, the front tires will move depending on, like if you have nooks and cranny of a lawn and whereas the shocks will, will go with the lawn and it, it just, it's just different. It's just a different, leaves a cleaner cut Whereas this one on the bumps and different things in the lawn, one of your wheels will come up sometimes just because, and it's normal, it's not a bad thing, it's just because it's a fixed frame. And so this frame moves with the lawn. So this, this back tire might go down into a dip, but that dip will cause that shock to release and it'll, it'll cut smoothly throughout the lawn. So that's a little bit of a different thing. But overall, just really good machine. You have any questions about it? You guys know I like Toro. I've always liked Toro. Um, so I do still have my bagging, my bagging boot. But as you see, we're not bagging. And I did not buy a bagger with this, and I am not bagging. So, But I want to take you through the trailer, through a walkthrough. I haven't showed you the trailer. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you. There's my Toro Time Master is being charged up. The battery ran out. Um, it has 60 hours on it. 60 hours, I believe. I don't know. 60, 60.2. 60 uh, the left side train, I still haven't got this fixed from all the other videos. Left side transmission, totally gone. 
Uh, I haven't got it fixed because I got to pay for it. I'm just going to go until the transmission just done where I have to actually push the mower. And right now the right side pushes good. The left side's gone. I, I love this mower. I'm telling you, I, I would, if, if it broke tomorrow, the engine blew, I'd buy a new engine. I'd go get another one. I, I love it. I think it's just so productive. And if they would just fix the transmission issue, that would just be the best, but I can't make Toro do something they don't want to do. So here's the trailer set up, still running the enclosed trailer. A um, couple things I am going to do is I am going to put a vent here and a vent here. I have some vapor lock issues. Um, it, it's just a pain in the butt with these um, steel pieces. I have to rotate them. So I got one, two, three weed whackers. And what I do is every other, every lawn, I'll use that one, then the next lawn I'll use that one, then the next lawn I'll use that one, then I'll go back to that one. Um, these are my favorite weed eaters. I like these weed eaters, 94Rs. This one runs the best. Um, these are all two years old now. They've lasted longer than any other weed eater I've, I've owned. Um, I had to put a new carb in this one this year, but it lasted two years. I'm, I'm still satisfied with steel. Uh, steel small blower, that 700, BR 700. Uh, I got the the hedge trimmers up there. I've got the trim saw right there. I've got the steel pull pruners right here. I've got the combi system thing right here, the little articulating hedge trimmer. I got the combi unit here. And I've got tools for landscaping. I got shrub ripper router back here. I've got an edging tool here. I got a shovel, a rake. I got some some steel tools here. And the push motor goes there. Obviously, I'm fertilizing round two right now. So my fertilizer, um, the Anderson's right there. Underneath this bag is actual fertilizer. Um, I was out fertilizing yesterday. But everything's still there. Everything, I, I still running the gas cans. I still got the orange toolbox there. and. I got a, a chain. I put the chain in here because I needed to pull myself out of some ditches here recently. So needed to buy the chain. I got this at uh, Harbor Freight. So pulls, pulls shrubs out really well and my mower. <laughs> um, that's about it. Still running still, still satisfied. Um, this is the longest I've ever kept anything. I've always got rid of everything after two years. I'm just gonna continue to keep using steel until I have some major issues. That 56C up there is giving me some issues. A little bit of issues. It doesn't want to stay running. It probably needs a new car. That's what I'm assuming. But that's my setup. The mower goes right here. Push mower goes right there. It's locked in place by that bungee cord. And that's it, guys. That's, that's my setup for the year. Obviously, you guys have seen my trailer and truck plenty of times. And the only thing I did is I added uh, this little giant lever ladder. Um, I got tired of keeping it in the back of the truck, so I put it in the trailer, so it's locked up with the bungees there. And, and that's my trailer. Like I said, the only th other thing I'm gonna do is put these, these, um, these vents in, and hopefully that'll help get this trailer aired out a little bit and keep these mowers and these, this equipment a little bit cooler. I didn't have this much trouble on an open trailer. I had a little bit of trouble with vapor lock, only on the really, really hot days. But lately it's just been really bad. And there's my weed line, my gator line. I bought the wrong kind of gator line, but it's still, I like this gator line. Works well. It trims everything I needed to. It's a gator line square. I run the .80, it's a little lighter. It helps out these engines because I don't run guards. So it's a little bit lighter. I don't run the real thick, heavy stuff. Um, those are speed feed heads from Echo on all of them. And that's it, guys. That's all. And let me see what I got here. I got back here, I got B Killer here. I got the Moto Mix for my chainsaw. I don't run because I don't run it all the time. And I run, what is this? I run the steel cleaner. Boy, steel must love me because I buy everything steel. We have a good dealer here, so it's easy. And I have a little handsaw. If I don't feel like getting the thing out, I just I put that little handsaw right there if I need anything. Well, guys, that's my time. There's the big reveal. Very happy with the Toro Z Master. Bye.